for a strike. Favourite time of the day. Right, let me just get myself organised here. I've got most of what I need done. Uh, how is everyone? You good? I hope you're all good. Uh, make that a bit smaller. Make that a bit bigger. There we go. Lovely. <clears throat> right, time for a string. Time for some more Hobby Plus RC goodies. Um, went into the shops um, yesterday. Went to the shops yesterday and uh, to get some paint, as you know, to paint the bloody TRX4, the Raptor body, and couldn't help myself. Just couldn't. As you know, I'm quite fond of the the little Hobby Plus RCs and the big Hobby Plus RCs, the big beasts, um, which I'll be doing videos of shortly. Pumped, the weather's starting to pick up, so. Hopefully I can get out and start filming some of those because fun. Um, so I thought, bugger, let's check out the let's check out the CR18, and then we've got all the different ranges. Channels is with us. Hello, mate. Uh, Mr. Foster's with us. Bull Gear's with us. David's with us. How things, fellas? Good. Hope things are good. Uh, right, I need to move some stuff here. I'm still getting myself all bloody set up. I can stay there. Lovely. Now I can see me count. Wicked. We're all good. Um, quickly while we wait for some of you guys to rock up you'll notice we've got the Hobby Plus up here right that's their dealie we've got Hobby Habit up here Hobby Habit's my local hobby shop um, why did that change oh urgh. let me just let me just stuff in things my website didn't didn't cooperate one supposed to be one one supposed to be another Hmm, can I? I probably can't. Let me just get rid of that one. Yes. Hobbyhabit.com.au, okay? That's one of my local hobby shops. Um, that's where I get most of my Tammy truck stuff and the Hobby Plus stuff. They stock Hobby Plus and will post all over the world. Um, so check them out. And then there's Hobby Plus website there. <clears throat> right, so quickly while we wait for some of you guys to rock up. This is how this is how this bad boy's turning out so far. It's getting there. I do need to um, I do need to give it a light wet sand and then re clear it. Some of the clear reacted a little bit with the paint, which is a bit um, but I was able to hit some of the wet clear with some of the paint to take away from what it did. So hopefully today I can give it a light wet sand, re-clear it, and then and then we're sweet. Angus is with us. Hello, Angus. What AD? Sorry, what, mate? <laughs> uh, Magnet's with us. Hello, Magnet. I could not use a 24 scale. I feel like I would break it. The Raptor looks amazeballs. Thanks, mate. Much appreciated. Dude, these these things here are pretty epic bits of kit. Th that gives you a bit of a comparison to the tenth scale. Okay? So we've got a TRX-4 Defender chassis with a Raptor body underneath. And then we've got the 24th scale. Proper 24th scale. Okay? Love axial stuff, but the 24th scale is too big. The wheels and tyres are especially too big. This little beast. Oh, what a rig. What a rig. Um... Both of my 24 scales are fit with the performance pack. Now, to clear something up, when I was in the hobby shop yesterday, I was I was chatting with um, Ashley. Ashley runs Hobby Habit, and he said there were some people that were buying the performance kits for the, the CR24, and they were complaining because the truck wasn't any faster. It's not supposed to be faster, though. He said, I know. <laughs> it's supposed to give it more torque and controllability. Yeah, it would get stopped by a pebble. Dude, you would be very surprised. These little trucks will go a lot of places. A lot of places. Whenever I go wheeling, I've always got at least one or two of these in my bag. So I've got I've got the little Jeep too. Okay. This is how much I like these trucks. I've got the Jeep and the Defender. The places these trucks will go is crazy. They shouldn't go a lot of the places they do. 
So don't discount them because of their size. So yes, hopefully today, if this wind eases up, I don't like painting when it's windy. Um, if the wind eases up, I can sort this out a bit better and get it just how I want it. And if I can do that, well then I can do my black accents. We're gonna do a black hood scoop, black sunroof, the roof bars, those sorts of things. Boogie's been trying to convince me to get one. Dude, for the money, you can't go wrong. You really can't. They're awesome fun little trucks. All right, so that's that. <clears throat> I am quite pleased with how that's turning out, just saying. So we've got our, we've got our 24th scales, which are awesome, epic, fun, cool trucks. Cool trucks. Um, and then, probably plus I stepped it up with the 18th scale. Now, the 18th scale is based on the same sort of chassis style as the 24th, which is smarts, right? Obviously, longer chassis rails, that sort of thing. Runs the same shocks. That's why I got, I got these bad boys. Check those out. Upgrade shockers. So I've got a set for this and a set for one of my other ones. And you know at some stage I'm going to get another set put on the other one. But anyway. Um, so Hobby Plus is starting to release all these fancy um, upgrades and stuff now. So metal drive shafts, metal uh, uni joints, the, the shocks and all those sorts of things. Which is good. That's how it should be. Um, so we're not going to faff about. We're going to get straight in. These things come in oh, how many different models. The LC18, which is a Land Cruiser. The Convoy, which is an old Chevy Ute. I'm sure one of you guys know what it is. Um, and then the Rushmore, which is what I've got, which is the Scout, which is awesome. Um, two or three colours in each different one, which is cool. Uh, CR18 is a size I could use without feeling like a break. Dude, you won't, you won't break these things, man. They take some shite. I purposely rolled mine down some pretty big hills, and I'm talking big hills. Channels, I'm hungry. Thanks for keeping it on topic, man. <laughs> so, anywho. Right. Let's, let's just whip straight in. I want to check this bad boy out. Now, this thing is 100% ready to run. 100%. It comes in its own shipping container style box. I like that. Right. Let's open her up and check her out. Which way have we got which? Right, so that should be able to slide straight out this way. There's another sticker in there. Bob's joined us. Hello, Bob. Hope you're well, mate. Oh, what a pretty blue. Oh, that is gorgeous. Good. Look at that blue. It's all. It's like a. It's like a deep green blue. Color is important in an RTR, I think. This comes in gunmetal blue. I can't remember if there's another color. The, the cruiser comes in white. I think cream and something else. The the Chevy one comes in bright red and I think bright blue as well. Something else. But there's some nice colours kicking about. I'm liking it. Alright. So, we need to cut this this little decal here. Right, that gets us into the, the goodies. Mike, I want the grey one. I thought you... Dude, I forgot to tag you. I did tag some people saying this thing's kicked off. Um, but you're usually pretty quick. So thanks for joining us. Right. First things first, we have a, a manual, alright, with an exploded view so you know where stuff goes, which is Andy. Um, we also get, now I said, these trucks are 100% RTR. Alright, so we've got our manual, read that, have a quick flick through it, you can like say you can suss out where all the parts go and all the fun stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, how to use the controller, now if I remember correctly, this controller it's the same sort of cool style. Yeah. 
which is right these controllers are the same ones we use with this truck which is awesome because I love that I love that feature so you can take this off undo a little door little door on top put your batteries in there put your little door on and then lock and load and you're set mate Uh, jumps on to go. See if I can they do have the cruiser magnet. Hobby Habit has the cruiser. Um, for Americans, Asia T stock these trucks as well. So <clears throat> I'm sure not all Americans are going to go, oh, I'll jump on Hobby Habit's website and buy it because these guys are in Australia. So if you're in Australia, hobbyhabit.com.au or go and pester them on their Facebook page. Um, just search Hobby Habit. Tell them I sent you. I don't know if it'll help you, but tell them anyway. <laughs> Um, so this is our controller. Now I do like these. They're a comfortable grip, and I've said this before, comfortable grip, nice amount of spring in the steer. These things are important, okay? If it's too if it's too light, you don't get the feeling of where you're steering. This is how my head works. Um, little digital buttons to adjust your channels and such. Three channel radio, reversible channels, all that fun stuff. Then we have USB charger. Now, you, obviously, you don't have to use this, but you get this USB charger because you get, a, a, I believe, a 2S LiPo with this truck, and you can use this to charge it. Now, if this truck is anything like the previous trucks, the runtime is actually pretty damn impressive. Now, I know up here, right, this is a this is a 1S LiPo, okay? It is 600 milliamp hour. We'll run one of these trucks... <clears throat> For at least 45 minutes. 45 minutes. It doesn't take very long to charge these up. Just put that out there. When you buy these ones too, you get the charger, you get the battery, everything ready to go. The only thing you need to put in is batteries in your controller. Then you get one of these tools. Now, I, I can't remember if I said to Calvin or not. Kevin's the guy that runs Hobby Plus. He needs to change these to metal. Anyway, so you get a tool. You probably won't use this because it's plastic. And then you get a little screwdriver. Okay, little little baby screwdriver, which is bloody handy. Not just for this, but for other builds. Like if you do like the extra speed bodies and those sorts of things, they use a lot of tiny screws. Get the blue one out of the package. It's out of the package. Mike's getting a bit impatient. Mike's been keen to check these bad boys out for quite some time. <laughs> Andrew's joined us. Hello, Andrew. How's things, mate? All right? Says, I'm pumped to drive this little beast. And what we're going to do today, um, besides obviously look at it, is we're going to install the both sets of shocks on two of the trucks. Right. Snippy. Snippy. What a little beauty. Hmm? Let's uh, feast your peepers on that, fellas. Hey, what a beast. What a beast of a truck. Now, even the factory shocks don't feel bad. Oh. Now, the, the camera you're looking through well, truth be told, both these cameras don't show this colour as deep and as metallic as it actually is. Give us a second, channels. We'll get there, mate. Eh? Uh, it's not 3D printed magnet. It's just it's just a plastic injected tool. But most of you blokes that buy one of those, they're going to have tools anyway. Let's, let's be realistic here. Right. So, we'll probably use the close-up cam for most of this because it is a small little trot. Um, the camera's trying to adjust now to show you the actual colour. It's not quite, no, it's, it's making it lighter than it is. Anyway, before you blokes start whinging and moaning, Tony's joined us. Hello, Tony. How's things, mate? All right? 
Right. Whip that off, and I'm going to unplug. Now this does have. This does have its own light kit. All right, light kit installed in the body already. So we're going to unplug this here, just so I can show you boys underneath. So you can see there, front and rear lights. Right, nice little light buckets there, front and rears. They're actually some nice light buckets. Uh, kinda. It's a different version of the Scout than the Gen 8 is. So there's our, there's our chassis, right? So we've got our little 2S LiPo back here. What a beast. <laughs> now what you could do, I believe, oh, I've got to make sure because I think these run a reverse polarity battery. I have to double check it. But I was going to say you could possibly smash a Dean's plug on here. So then you could charge this with your normal charge, but you do get a charger with it anyway. So this is our chassis, all right? So we've got the sliders that the body actually sits into. So you can see there, the body actually sits in the slider itself, which is awesome. Um, stops it wailing around. Man, those shocks feel really good. Oh, and check out these. Look at these scale tyres, would you? Awesome. Um, they are beadlock wheels, by the way. I'm, this is the first time I'm checking it out, obviously, because that was the first time I took it out of the box. Now, it does run... The same skid, the same transmission and motor as the 24 scale, all right? Um, because, I mean, this thing weighs the same, honestly. Actually, it's probably lighter. Tiny chassis rust. Dude, they're awesome. Right, let's do a comparison. Because we're going all cutesy on the situation with our tiny little trucks here. So there's, there's our 24th. Now this is fitted with the upgrade kit. So it's got a different um, receiver, different ESC, and different servo. Actually, I think the servo now is the same because this is a different receiver box. And these, from what I read, are FPV ready. So one of these extra plugs, I think, I think one of these extra plugs you can use for FPV. But anyway. So I'm just, sorry, looking, I'm just having a look too while we're here. Um, awesome looking little truck, man. Awesome. I love these things. They're so cool. Like, that's, that's a pimped out ride. I mean, it's not fully pimped yet. It needs its, needs its extra shocks and such. That's the 24 scale. Again, you can get you can get these and the 18th scale on um, Hobby Habit's page. Actually, Hobby Habit stock all of the Hobby Plus range, which is awesome. It's nice to have. It's nice to have a hobby shop so close that it stocks all this stuff. Now I'm going to get off my can and design some stuff for these trucks. Um, I'm going to design some inner fenders. Uh, probably we can do some full full front to back fenders. So you get the full side rails too. Um, God knows what else. Bumpers and all those sorts of fun things. Now that I've learnt more about the printer and how all that works and how to get stuff coming out better, I reckon I can pump out some pretty cool stuff with these little trucks. What a beast. Has anyone got any questions? Whilst I look at the... I'll pinch these batteries. I need more batteries. Are they one inch beadlock wheels? I don't know where my ruler is. Are they the same? They're the same wheels as the 24, but the tyres are bigger. They are beadlocks. The bloody Chevy trucks got chrome ones. Like they're still, they're plastic beadlocks, but they're chrome. The tyres look about the same size as the SCX 24. I, I, think they're smaller. What size are the 24 tyres? Here we go. Ruler. 
I'm going to give it to you in millimetres. You can do your own calculations. All right. So, 25 um, millimetres is the wheel height. The higher, the higher height. The tyre height is 55. Okay. What's the, what's the uh, SCX24 tyres? They're going to be taller than that, surely. They have to be. What a wicked little truck. So I'm going to pinch batteries out of my radio, put in this radio, and I'm going to plug her in and see how she goes. I need more batteries. I'll have to get some today. I've been saying that for ages, and I'll just keep pinching batteries from different radios. Alright. But we have got, pl we've got plenty of clearance under there. Um, now, like I said, this truck's, this truck's pretty well based on on this little truck okay so the diff centers i believe are these diff centers yes they are just the lockouts and the c hubs and such are wider to make it work and obviously the axles too um which is it's good because it gives it it gives it a pretty scale effect look looking you know the, the diff looks nice and small bunnings make it you go to bunnings 10 bucks for like 30 batteries. I'm not buying rechargeable. Screw that. I get actually really good life out of these batteries. Surprising. Do you have some steel bead locks that will fit already? Dude, what are you waiting for then? <laughs> uh, right. Are they smaller batteries? I'm sure they were double A's. Maybe they're triples. I was sure they ran double O's. Uh, I'll take a wheel off in a sec, mate, and I'll measure it up for you. Uh, I'm excited. I'm, a, I'm always a big kid with these bloody toys. It's good, though. It's how it should be. So you can see I don't use triple A's very much. The wheels are 55 millimetres. Or you mean the tyres? Because these tyres are 55 millimetres. Surely their wheels aren't that big, are they? That's over in 24 scale. Right. We're batteried. Pilfered batteries from the other radio for nothing. Okay, so we plug this in. This should only plug in one way. Like so. Mm -hmm. The tires. Okay. But that's that's on a twenty fourth scale. This is an 18th scale. Picking up what I'm putting down. The tyres on the 24th scale are 45. Just putting it out there. Right. Better plug my lights in because I'm a big kid and I like shiny stuff. I should have done always do back posts first fellas when it's a tall body always do back posts first just going to make a little We'll see how she goes. Though, my luck, that's just going to move. Let's see if we can climb over this, shall we?
Yes, I'll do that too. Mike? That servo's pretty damn good. <laughs> if it's a rockin', you know the rest. This is one of the things I love about these, these little trucks. If it's raining outside, you can quite easily make your own fun inside. I need another one of those 155s. Because those tyres are a bit grippier than these ones. I don't, I don't even know what I'm trying to set up here. I really don't. Just throw a cross tyre down there. Perhaps we can get it to climb up on that. <clears throat> Good fun, this stuff. Fun this stuff, man. So the, I, I couldn't tell you the strength of the servo. Doesn't tell me. I forget what they are. But I mean, well, and that's exactly right too, Bob. It's a great. It's a great size chassis for, for stuff like doing your, your custom builds with the Bruder stuff. You imagine one of those Bruder, um, the little bloody, oh, I was going to say yard tractor, but that's probably not the right word. You fellas have got to get one of these. They're cool ass. I love this stuff. Now to the car yard for sale. <laughs> so that's straight out of the box. I've not charged the battery or anything. I've just plugged it in, turned it on. Even the headlights, man, they're like slightly yellowed, which is awesome. What an awesome little truck. Now you do got to make sure you put your body in those little slidery bits. You can do that. There we go. Put that in there. Leave that in there. Now, one of the main reasons, too, that I, I got this and I thought, well, I'll get this and show you fellas is Christmas is just around the corner. What kid's not going to want one of these? Like, look at those lights, man. They bang on. That is a great looking little truck. I'm really. I know I've got lots of Hobby Plus RC stuff and I keep getting it and I keep enjoying it and I keep getting more and I keep enjoying it. It's obviously for a pretty good reason, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, I need some heavy wheels and tyres. Surely it won't move those. If you guys got any questions, just sing out. I'm just being a big kid here. I think you can 6x6 six six these axles. Not dumping $200 on a Christmas present. Tight ass. <laughs> Come on, man. Christmas present? If you got one or two kids, you're going to you're gonna dump that much money on them anyway. Easy. Easy. Tama asked for an early birthday present the other day, right? She wanted some expansion packs. Well, one expansion pack for The Sims on the PlayStation. And I sat down and I looked at all those expansion packs and I nearly cried because I remembered how many of them I've bought in the past. Now, anyway, I said to her, have a couple of days and think about it and see if that's what you really want. She's like, oh, okay then. Um, so I went and bought them all. So now she's got them all. She doesn't know she's got them all. They're all installed on the PlayStation. She just hasn't played the game yet. But it's one of those things where the whole point of this story is it's so easy to to say to yourself, I'm not going to spend socks and undies. What? 
No kid wants socks and undies, all right? You don't want socks and undies until you get to my age. And then even then, if your missus says, do you want one of these, or do you want some socks and undies? You will say, get me this, I'll get myself some socks and undies next week, okay? What world do you live in? <laughs> uh, it's fun being a big kid, Mike. Like, why else do we buy this stuff? Come on. I'm a little twisted up. Ugh, now beached it. Beached it. Practical gift. Pish posh. Mate, this is practical, alright? Because when your kid gets bored of it, who gets to drive it? Yeah? See, I'm not just thinking about the kids, I'm thinking about you guys too. I'll try and move that microphone without making too much noise. We can even use our sand ladders with it. If you've got a 3D printer, uh, I'd buy to be a big kid. Why not, man? Beached. I beached his brew. I hit it so beached. I want chips. You can't eat chips. You're a whale. You eat krill. Anyway. <laughs> man, we get sidetracked in these bloody streams. Right, can we climb up here? Without skidding the rails out. <sighs> like a pro. Just want to put it out there. <laughs> anyway, enough playing my toys on my bench. What an awesome little truck. What do you think of that, man? Is that cool or what? This thing I'm telling you is going to perform. And the reason I say that is... Because... When I took my 24 scales out, I and mean, like I said, the the cool thing about these, right, this gives you an idea of the, the scales, all right, when I took, when I took my 24 scale out, I was legitimately shocked at just how, how well it went, how much stuff it would climb over. Yeah. Okay, 10, 18, 24. Well, I can put, I can put, I can put that in my, in my roof rack. Hell, I can nearly put that in my roof rack. So this gives you an idea of the sizes. All right, 18 scale, 10 scale underneath it. I uh, just got myself a Tamiya uh, bagger on for Friday, uh, for Friday, and uh, journey past the same quick over. Oh, dude, you, you wouldn't, you, you'd have to drive like an absolute McClown to break these little trucks. And something you got to remember too, being a 24 scale truck, parts are pretty cheap, man. These, I can't remember how much they are. I want to say they're about $27 for these CNC shock upgrades, okay? And they're, they're adjustable shockers too. And they're easy to install. Right, you can stay there. <clears throat> I'll move all my, my stuff out the way. Right. We're going to smash. We're going to smash a set of shocks on this truck. Because, why not? You wouldn't break it, dude. I'm telling you. You wouldn't break it. They're awesome. I bet you if Bull Geek gets one of these, he'll pester the crap out of you until you buy one. Because it's... Look how awesome they are. Right. Unplug the battery. Now they got their screws. Wanted to do the little screwdriver I got with it. I did say you'd use it. Turn my radio off. Right. Twenty dollars American. Cheap. 
cheap, mate. Um, and Mike wanted to see the hexes. Is it that size? It's that size. I mean, these are these are pretty bloody good fun vehicles for for your money. You just no one can argue that point. This is why you'll see people do posts everywhere. Of, oh, I want to get a micro crawler, and everyone will go, "Oh, get an axial twenty fourth. And I'm like, nah, "Don't, don't get one of those." And that hex is tiny. Okay, so the hex is. Seven. Seven mil hex. Can you... Oh, hold up. There's four screws in the back, in the back of that wheel. Speed lock. Alright, so the bottom pops off and the top screw is on. Easy. So, we undo this. We don't lose our little spacer. We don't lose our bolt. And then we can just pop the bottom off. Well, we should be able to, I think. Pop the bottom off. That's our old shocker off. What's the wheelbase? That is on the box. The wheelbase, I'll give you the measurements of the whole thing. The height, 135 millimetres. Uh... Length, 275, the width, 113, and the wheelbase, 155. The weight, 280 grams. So that's the stats for nerds. Not saying you're nerds, but you're like stats. All right, let's, let's whack these bad boys on. Noticeable difference. Noticeable difference. See, it's just too big. Hundred and twenty. And that's going to be the same, I imagine. 120. 24th scale. Just putting it out there. Right, so now I should be able to pop that on the bottom. Right. And then we just put our screw back in. Now, we also have six different mounting options on the shock hoop. Front and rear. And of course, this is a one part metal chassis, just for those wondering. Apparently they call that colour metallic cyan. Yep. And it looks pretty... Uh, the ute looks pretty good. I actually took some photos of the... I don't like Chevys. Right. And I said to Ashley at Hobby Habit. That actually looks pretty good. And it's, I mean, it's got the... It's got the bloody... The chrome wheels on it. Oh, I want the chrome wheels for this. Right. Put my little spacer. Grab my little screwdriver. Hold my mouth right. And there's one shocker changed. Easy. That was easy. Right. Pop my little wheel back on. It's good fun, this stuff. See if I can get that started with my fat fingers. Oh, yeah, she started. It was, it was sweet. I wonder if I've got a little... No. I suppose that's too big. Of course it is. I need more of those. I uh, do. Right, on goes my wheel again and then we'll do the back one. Easy. Now, from what I can tell... I believe you can run 
the um, the 24 upgrade combo in these, I believe. <clears throat> I will find out if there's any plans for a upgrade for this one too. Right. Let's see if we can do it without taking a wheel off. There's some pretty shocks, man. They look nice. I quite like those. So what do you think? What do you think the little beast looks like? You think she, you think she looks good? I've got little pliers here. I can possibly... Possibly... Let me out. Pop that straight off. So you don't even have to take your wheels off. Wicked. So if you want to be a bit of a lazy poo, then you've got the option. They do look nice. I'm going to have to buy the drive shafts too. The metal drive shafts look pretty good. Right, on she goes. I like that they're adjustable. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have thought so too, um, Magnet. But you never know. You never know. Right, change these two, and we're sweet. Now, I'm, I'm not going to make this a really long stream today because some people get sooky about the length of some of the streams. And I mean, it's a small truck. There's only so much in the box you need to see. Is anyone out there thinking to themselves, "I need this little truck in my life"? Because that's what I thought when I went to the hobby shop. It's just awesome. Pop on there. I'll give you the old plier squeeze. Maybe that'll work easier. Lovely. Lovely. Mm -mm. So yes, I'm quite impressed. I mean, you can see it's, it's a smart build in the sense of you don't need to change the world to to have another vehicle. Like, they don't need to go and redesign all the, all the diffs and such when the 24 scale diff internals are plenty strong enough to run a truck this size too. Lovely. Last one. And if you're a 3D printy sort of person, there's lots of lots of things you can make for this. Lots. And because it's 18 scale, because it's 18 scale, it's not going to take forever to print stuff. That's something I hate about 10 scale stuff. It took me 16 hours to print the roof rack for my truck. 16 hours. Do you know how many times it screwed up before it worked properly? Too many. Look, I smash out a roof rack with this thing in 10 minutes. Okay, probably a bit longer than 10, but you get my point. Uh, da -da. Magnet's just been put on the to buy list. Uh, I need a 6x6 and a drone first. What, what makes you say you need a 6x6? Uh, Mike, I need this little truck in my life. Maybe two. They're pretty. I know you'll like it, Mike. I know you will. Mike, I could see you getting the Scout and probably the Land Cruiser. I, the Land Cruiser, I don't think. I don't think it has um, the light buckets. So that's something to think of. The others do. I think that's the only difference. Because I think the Land Cruiser was one of the first ones. I think. Could be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Right. How easy is that? I like it when stuff just works. <laughs> Enjoyable little buggers to work on. 
it more enjoyable when I put things in the right way. It works lots easier. Six by six, because they look cool. And I've always wanted a, a GTA 5 style crawler. I mean, I can't remember the last time I played GTA 5. Uh, those would be the two, but I like it. It looks pretty good, if I'm honest. I did see the cruiser yesterday, and I was like, mm, ooh, the cruiser looks nice. Mm. But then I seen this, and I was like, oh. I sort of, I think I sort of partly got the scout because of the cross. Cruise just joined us, hello, mate. How's things, all right? All right, now, I've got to do a reminder. Mr. Mr. Foster... Um, threw out a challenge on our last stream he said goals down here now just because we've got this stuff up here he said by the end of this month if another hundred dollars gets put on this he will pay the rest of it epic link in the description below should you want to donate um, give it a like give it a share do all that all that sort of stuff we do with the streams but yes mr. Foster has put out the challenge you guys love your challenges. He's put out the challenge. If $100 gets put on the, the goal by the end of this month, he will pay for the rest of the truck so we can give it away. Bloody epic. Absolutely epic. So three cheers for Mr. David Foster in the chat, if you don't mind. Right. Last little screw going in here. Nice. Nice, mate. Nice. I like that. I uh, do. I like that. That's nice. Uh, everyone needs at least one 6x6. Six six, oh, 6x6, six six, yes. Well, the only problem is when you get a 6x6, six six, after a while, you go 8x8. Eight I mean, my SCX-10 8x8 was a 6x6. Six six. Nice. Now, the little the little ball um, ball cups on the end of these shocks are a little bit tight. But I've no doubt, once they've loosened up a bit, we'll be sweet. Yeah, that one's a bit tight. <clears throat> so they need to loosen up a smidge. And the only thing to loosen that up is getting it out and wheeling it. But once they loosen up, we should be Mickey Mouse, I reckon. I wonder if I need to. There we go. Over tightened, mate. Over tightened. So don't over tighten your top screw. There we go. They're nice. I quite like those. And they look, they look so pretty. Have a go at those little shockers in there. Look at those. Hey. And they're adjustable. If your fingers are small enough. Oh, they turn pretty easy, actually. So if you want to jack up your tiny little truck, well, then you can do that too. I'm so impressed with Hobby Plus RC. Like, they just... Everything they do, they do really well. For a small company that's starting out... I mean, they're not that small anymore, I guess. They're starting to pump out some pretty epic... Some pretty epic RCs. Back post first, mate. Back post first. Drop that in there. Drop that one in there. There's an art form to this, I'm sure. Right. Yes. And then we can wiggle that into there. Lovely. What a wicked little truck. I'm pumped to drive this now. And the best thing is, when I go out with whatever truck I take out next, I can put this in my backpack. It weighs 280 grams. That's nothing. Put my radio in if I need the extra space. Or we can just put it in like this or something or rather. So it fits easy. <clears throat> and then... We can take our little beast of a setup out. Get the 
it's all, all professional like. <coughs> you can take this little setup out in your backpack and you're all bloody set. You can drive your big truck. So if you sit down for some lunch or something like that, we can go, brilliant. I'll get the 18th scale out and have a run with that. Or I'll get the, t <laughs> the 24 scale out and run that. It's just it's awesome, man. What do you think of those? These trucks both run the same radio too, which is awesome. So if you get multiples, just write on there which truck it's for. Top tip for free. <clears throat> I don't know I like that Chevy says and the, the chrome wheels are really nice Mike they are I said to Ashley yesterday have you got any chrome wheels no not yet damn it because I really quite like the chrome wheels what little beasts they're just awesome pumped can't wait to go out. I think my next trip, my next trip out is going to be just micros. I'll take all three of them out. Why not? Yeah, there we go. This one, these 24 scales, I've even got their own spare. My God, my brain work. That was painful. Fully functional spare in the back. This, this Defender, metal roll cage. How comes cheaper? Uh, I don't know. Which one's cheaper, the Chevy? Probably because it's a Chevy. <laughs> you left the door wide open, my friend. Left the door wide open. Um, d which site are you looking on? Take it on the plane? Could do. Easily take that on the plane. But if, if I go to the States, I'll, I'll be bringing a full-size truck. Full shizzle. we have some coffee. Got to have those dares. Whereabouts are you looking, Mike? Provided my phone's got some charge in it, I'll have a look too. God, everyone's at work. All the people I tagged in the stream. I'm at work, mate. Well, that's not good. <clears throat> Come on, Mike. Where's your reply, mate? Shut up, Magnet. We don't get two litres here. I'm not happy about it either. Hobby habit. Cooperate phone. I believe hobby habit ones are all two ninety nine. Oh two nine one ninety nine. I'm telling you man, for one ninety nine that's a that's a cheap phone crawler. Um right. It's Search CR18, and we should find them all. Still waiting for Mike's reply. Oh, they might not be on the site yet. I know they're on their Facebook page, and I'm pretty sure their Facebook page is just um, 199. But I mean, as far as somewhere like Asia Tees or somewhere like that goes, who knows, dude? Like, maybe they ordered more of the Chevy, and they haven't sold them, so they want to sell them, so they're selling them cheaper. That's probably, that would be my first guess as to why they may be cheaper than other ones. Uh, let's see more. 199 each. They're cool. Dare. Um, no, they should sponsor me though. Come on, Dare Ice Coffee. Let's talk. <laughs> I drink it up of your stuff. Awesome stuff. I'm excited. So we've got micro crawlers. Now yeah, there's some stuff in this garage. Oh, you 
you stay, you stay there. Give you a bit more of an idea. I've still yet to run this one because we've had really crappy weather. We've got short course trucks, monster trucks, the Ravage MT. Give you a bit of an idea of the size of this thing. I spent all that time putting that body on there perfect. Hobby Plus makes some pretty epic kit. Now I took the trophy out, which is a slightly smaller version of this. Well, same chassis, different wheels and tyres, different body. What a blast, man, on threes. That thing hunts. Do not stand behind it and floor it. You will cover yourself in rocks and dirt. And they come at you at high velocity. Uh, it's Geek Plus. Never heard of it. <laughs> and that's your American dollars. $79.99. That sounds bloody... What's that work out? $79 US dollars to Australian dollars. $115. Are you sure you're looking at the right truck? Geek Plus. Are we talking about the same thing, Mike? <laughs> uh, Geekplus.com .cn It's a China website. Don't think that's the same website Mike's talking about. It might be, I don't know. Send me a message with a link, Mike, and I'll check it out. Anyway. So distracted. So, do yourselves a favour. Go and look up Hobby Plus on Facebook if you haven't already. Um, the reason I keep getting their stuff is I know it's good stuff. I got that Ravage MT. Come here, you. This was where it, this was where it started for me. Okay. I've got the Ravage MT, and I've got this thing's awesome. 50 miles an hour out of the box. You just smash a 3S in it, and you hit 50 miles an hour easily. I honestly think it's faster. It is bloody quick. Backflips like a champion. It's awesome. Wicked truck. So I got this, and after this, it was like, man, what else do these guys make? And they got the crawlers. And then it was just. I've got what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven Hobby Plus RC RCs, and I can't wait for them to do a 10 scale because I'm going to get that. There's no two ways about it. It's going to be epic. These guys know what they're doing. Yes, yes, I do. I need more shelves. I did say I was going to buy shelves this week. Took a screenshot. Did you send me the screenshot, Mark? Not yet. Um. What else is there to say? They make awesome gear. I guarantee any of you blokes that buy any of these things, you're going to have a blast with it. Absolute blast. Remember too, these are all, all ready to run trucks and stuff when you get them. Oh, the shocks on these things are just bloody phenomenal. Mm. These could probably do with the clone. These have, these have got some dirt and shit inside them. But they're still bloody nice. Mm. Um... Go and check them out on Facebook. You can Hobby Plus, obviously Australian stocker of um, Hobby Plus stuff, will ship all across Australia. They will actually ship across the world. So if if you can't find what you want in Hobby Plus stuff, contact Hobby Habit. They will ship it. As long as you pay the shipping, they'll ship it. <clears throat> check them out, guys. I reckon. Now you fellas know, much like cross stuff, I will only recommend stuff. That I think is good and I think is worth the money. I mean, I don't really have to say much more than that, do I? Does anyone have any questions? Because we're getting pretty close, we'll wrap it up in a minute. It's lunchtime, I'm hungry. 
And I did say today's not going to be a two hour one because my back just can't hold out anymore. Somehow I did a two hour and twenty minute one last time and I was wrecked. Bloody wrecked. I better move my little shocks so I don't lose them. So has anyone got any questions? Now I know there's a bit of a delay on the chat so I'll give it a minute. Just see if it pops up. Awesome trucks. Bloody awesome. I thought this thing was a monster until I got the monster. Which is too far away for me to reach. So yes, hopefully hopefully by the time we do the next stream or two new shelves. And then hopefully, for my sake, more shelves. And just more shelves, okay? More. I need them. I just, I need more, more shelves, I need more tools, I need more room for tools, and I need more paint, and I need... I can't whinge though, can I? I mean, I'm pretty lucky. It's like, you, you look back at what you've got, where you started with this stuff, cannot wait to see the cross towing C18 on a trailer. I'd just strap it onto the roof. <laughs> the trailer I've got is way too big to put the C18 on it. People would laugh at me. <laughs> My trailer will fit a, um, a TRX4 Defender on it. Jay's joined us. A bit late than missing it totally. Hello, mate. How's things? Uh, did you leak? All right. They're the 24 scar mic. Oh no, sorry, there's the... Jesus. That's cheap. Geek buying. I've never heard of that website. Have you bought from them before, Mike? That is cheap. Very cheap. <clears throat> Yeah, I've not heard of geekbuying.com. So, I don't know whether to be hesitant or not. I guess the first thing I'd do, Mike, is I would search reviews of the, the site, unless you've already bought from it before. How much is the postage, Mike? Let me... That's going to be the question. Because some places will sell stuff um, really cheap, but then make the postage through the roof. Okay, so we've got that. Twenty-four... Uh, no, free shipping for registered. Not bad. But then, like I say, I've not bought from them, so... I've not bought from them. And they're flash deals, apparently. So after the timer runs out, it goes to $200. So, <clears throat> yeah, interesting. I don't know. I mean, I personally, by the time you buy it, I'd much rather just go to my local hobby shop and get it, if they've got it, you know what I mean? Because then if something does go wrong, well, I'll just go to the hobby shop and say, Look, this went wrong. Can you help me out? Yeah, I don't know. I think I've I've got enough buy sites, if that makes sense, um, like AliExpress and stuff that I trust that I don't need any new ones. Uh. Oh, one grand cheap Cherokee, you hard money. Excuse me. Oh, not a lot of sleep last night again. I think I've seen those on eBay for like a hundred Australian dollars, David. I think. Because I keep looking at it and going, oh, should I? Because it's the sort of body I think Hannah would like for her truck. Get this. So, for the, the gender reveal, of the baby we've got on the way. For those who don't know, we've got a baby on the way. Does Rob carry them? I don't know. 
I'll I'll pester him and see if I can get him to perhaps carry them if it does enough interest. Um, so anyway, you're sidetracking me now. So I'm going to do a gender reveal for the baby, and I'm going to buy a body and put it on Hannah's truck. She picked a bloody Land Cruiser. <laughs> so she's either going to have a blue or pink Land Cruiser, depends on the sex of the baby. Oh, these trucks are just shocks. I need to get these trucks out more. I'm so happy the weather's cleared up now. We have to charge up some batteries, take the girls out, and then see you go. Here you go, Hannah. You can drive this one. Tamar can drive this one. I'll drive the big green monster or something like that. We just go stupid for an hour, you know? Bloody good fun, these trucks. And the tyres. You've got to you've got to try this stuff out, fellas. I'm telling you. It's awesome. So, does anyone have any other questions besides, like, about these? <laughs> I know we get sidetracked here, but I just want to make sure I've answered everything I possibly can about these that I know of. And then we'll probably call her a day so I can go and have some lunch. <clears throat> as long as you don't do a burnout as a gender reveal. Ugh. I'm a bit classier than that, Magnet. Burnout reveal. I love old cars. I've had heaps of them. I've had 55 cars in my life so far, most of which have been from the 70s and the 60s. I would never do a burnout review. <laughs> okay? I haven't had a single Commodore. <laughs> I'm sure someone watching is going to go, I'll get rid man, I've got a Commodore. <laughs> anyway, I joke, I kid, don't get upset. Well, I think that's pretty much it then, fellas. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. As I said, go and check out Hobby Plus. Go and check out Hobby Habit too, especially if you're an Aussie. Um, they've got a huge range of stuff in there. And it's not just RC stuff. It's model stuff as well. Skeletrics, planes, trains and automobiles. Ta -da. So, check them both out on Facebooks. Um, give this a like. Give it a share. Likes are very important. If you watch this, and any part of this, whether it be one of my stupid jokes, the trucks, the fact that I sit here and do these, whatever, give it a like. Likes are very important. The more likes we get, the higher up the list YouTube puts us as to recommended videos for people to watch. And I want these streams to turn into something that, at some stage, we've got thousands of people sitting here watching, joining in, enjoying the streams with us. So... And then who knows, we could possibly put up a goal like this, smash it in a stream, we'll be giving away a truck a week. Uh, Aussie Postage, I'll send you one. Aussie Postage is pretty slack. You just have to drive over and drop one off, mate. <laughs> Actually, if you're going to drive that far over, you might as well bring a bloody a crate full. Um, Alright, so I think that's pretty much going to do it. I do appreciate your time as always. It does mean a lot that you guys sit here and listen to whatever it is that we're talking about. Um, I'm sorry for those that join late. It always happens. Do go back. Give it a watch. There's some pretty cool stuff in the stream. Mainly this was our main topic of choice today. The CR um, CR18 from Hobby Plus. This is all Hobby Plus stuff. This little thing's epic. I can't wait to drive it. I really think it's going to be game changer. Hashtag Game Changer. That's what everyone says now, don't they? If you're a company out there, do not say Game Changer. Okay? Because if it's not an actual Game Changer, you look like an idiot. It's it's an 18th scale truck that looks the part. This, this metallic cyan is bloody stunning. Mm. Alright. Thank you very much for watching. It's very much appreciated. If you've got any other questions or whatnot, feel free to shoot me a message. I'm easy to find on Facebooks. And we shall see you on the next BCRC live stream. Take care. Have fun with your RCs.